what's up guys and welcome to your 17th javascript tutorial in previous tutorials i admit that we did very boring stuff and just the theoretical knowledge and how this works and how do we do that but no proper implementation of what we learned in actually what we do on the web for example we just learned about what the prototype does and why it why it is done but we never learned that how you can use it in your own web apps made in javascript so in this tutorial we'll be finally looking how to create our own string methods okay so first of all let's create the prototype method of the string and let's say it reverse sentence now before you catch me that I'm creating a new thing or I'm creating just a thing which is already available in the JavaScript you reverse the string like this actually in JavaScript like if you want to reverse the string then what you do is b dot split reverse this will actually reverse the string or sentence actually but let's try to create this function this uh, this method in string so we can just simply access it like b dot reverse sentence or let's give it a user friendly name what about web name short and simple okay so let's see now we have string dot prototype dot me and if you don't know what's happening here then I recommend you to go back in the tutorial list and start these tutorials at least from tutorial number 12 or 10 maybe from where I started this uh, JavaScript prototypal inheritance tutorial list the first 10 are for just warming up you okay so now we have string dot prototype dot me and we got a function inside it so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the string on which the user calls this method for example let's say a sentence I love to program I can program anytime and let's reverse the this sentence completely that means everything should be reversed like E M I T Y N A. I hope you got me. Just like we did with the split and join function. And now let's console log our future method of rev me. Now let's create this method. Now first of all, to get the string the user is calling, let's create a private variable user string. Uh, let's this dot length now what happens here is let's give it a length not use a string yet this returns the length of this string now JavaScript by default splits every of this this string completely into every single uh, character with specified index of array for example I would be 0 then the space 1 then L2 like that then let's create a for loop then len and i++ plus plus. Uh, let's create another local variable here user string and just user string should be equal to this i now what's happening here is we got the length of the string as a splitted array with each character as a separate index then we did a for loop which runs until the length uh, i is less than length uh, we are storing the user string into the, uh, the string into this variable user string by assigning the value of this index that means on the first loop this would be this zero and would return i to the user string the plus is equal to operator is just same as 
this is this and the previous one are same so let's keep it shorthand now let's see how we can reverse this string now we have got user string uh, in this variable the string supplied by the user now let's see what we can do to reverse the string now we have length and we have user string let's create a while loop and while length minus minus and just let's create another private variable custom string custom string is equal to user string and length okay let's see now and uh, let's return custom string now what's happening here is I hope I'm clear till this for loop now in the while loop what's happening here is supposedly the length of the string is let's say 10 then what happens is uh, while length minus minus what it does is it reduces the variable length to 9 and that is actually required because the though the length of the string uh, is 9 10 but actually the array elements are 9 because the indexing starts from 0 for example this dot length would return 10 but the elements would be till 9 okay so first of all when we access this ninth element then what happens is it stores the custom string into user string now what happening here is we are actually accessing the the string in a reverse order and storing it in the custom string oh I guess I missed the plus sign here okay so let's try to run this program with this sentence and see what console log this let's try a simple one so I can understand that there's no fault in the program a b c and d let's see uh, I'll just drag it a bit as you can see it echoes d c b a that means it reverses the string and prints it on the browser now let's try a complex sentence just a random sentence whatever you like as you can see now it starts from this exclamatory mark because this is the last character and if you have time to read the sentence I recommend you to pause this video and just write it in your notebook and just do whatever you want to do because once you reverse the sentence you will get this sentence no matter how many times you try it okay if you want to confirm the sentence uh, confirm me let's do the traditional method and we'll see that that it will return our oh. let's see Oh, actually we don't need to reverse the sentence as well because we are not calling the reverse me method here so or let's try this now this should return true if this method the string returned by this method is equal to this method and if we refresh this then you as you can see it returns true that means both of these strings are equal now this reverse method I don't say that my method is superior to this method because this reverse method has got a way lot uh, coding and stuff and compatibility inside it for example if we don't want to invert all the words all the letters but just the words then we can supply the parameter or maybe the space parameter in the split and in the join as well and then what it would do is it would just simply return us 
this sentence what did I press star maybe insert yes and it will just return the sentence in an inverse manner but not the words as you can see I love to code JavaScript I love to code and then JavaScript I love prototypes I don't know what that makes sense but that's something you can do with split and reverse and join like that so I hope we are clear with the own custom string dot prototype methods and go ahead and create your own methods and post in the comment section and I hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching